In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We magnify your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hello, beloved people, once again, I welcome you onto this channel, Proly Word Ministries. Today, I have a topic that I want to, you know, discuss with you. And my topic for today is caption. Tongues are not native languages. <laughs> Tongues are not native languages. But before we dive into the word of God this moment, we must first of all understand what languages are. We must understand that language is simply defined as understanding. The book of Genesis chapter 11, the verse 6 to 9, it says, And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will, will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. The verse 7 says, Go, go to, let us go down and they confound their language that they may not understand the word underline understand one another's speech the verse 8 says so the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city the verse 9 says therefore is the name of it called Babel because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth Bible says and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the surface of all the earth beloved people that is what I want us to know before we continue we go further we must understand that language is simply defined as understanding of something we must note that it doesn't take prayer to speak another man's native language but it takes prayer to speak in tongues which is the language of the spirit tell me of an unbeliever who pray in order to speak another man's native language you can't so why should we think that because so why should we think that because the apostles couldn't speak another language that is why they've gone to the upper room to pray on the day of Pentecost I want us to look at two things two things to know we must know number one that we learn to speak native languages we, do, we don't what pray to speak them I take it again we learn to speak native languages we do not pray to speak them number two we pray to speak tongues we don't learn to speak them so these two things are the things that we must take note today but before we go further i want us to take note of this we must know that languages are simply defined as understanding as we've seen earlier on the book of jeremiah chapter 3 the verse 15 to 17 i want us to look at what god has for us there jeremiah chapter 3 15 the verse 17 chapter 3 the verse 15 to 17 bible says and i will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and i put it in quotes knowledge was taught by jesus and understanding understanding by the holy spirit 
the verse the verse 16 says and it came to pass when ye multiply and increase in the land in those days says the law they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the lord of the Lord, ne neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done anymore. The verse 17 says, At that time they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it to the name of the law to Jerusalem neither shall they walk anymore after their after the imaginations of their evil hearts of their evil hearts I want us to also look at what Bible says so the, the scripture that we've read earlier on is talking about pastors God giving us pastors who will feed us according to his own heart, who will feed us with knowledge and understanding. So when Jesus Christ came, what Jesus Christ came and do on this earth is to feed us with knowledge. Beloved people, one thing we must know that you can have you can have knowledge of something, but you do not understand such thing so jesus christ absolutely came to teach us knowledge but to understand the knowledge that jesus christ came and teach is by the holy spirit is by the holy spirit john chapter 16 the verse 7 to uh, 7 12 and 14 says nevertheless i tell you the truth it is expedient that it is expedient for you that i go away for if i go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if i depart i will send unto you i will send him unto you the verse 12 says have yet many things to say unto you but ye cannot bear them now so what that script that verse means is that jesus christ was trying to tell the apostles that i have many things to say unto you which is knowledge to give you which ye cannot bear them now but ye will not understand them now so that is the explanation of that verse 12 the verse 13 says how be it when the spirit how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come and he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine that means the holy spirit shall receive the knowledge that i came to teach you and shall show it unto you in other words and shall explain the knowledge that he came to share with you so jesus christ as i said earlier on in that jeremiah chapter 3 15 verse 17 jesus christ came to teach us knowledge of uh, who god is things that we must do as christians so jesus christ came and teach the knowledge of God the things that we must know about God as Christians so as Jesus Christ came and taught all these things still the apostles couldn't understand so uh, the Jesus Christ want to you know introduce the, the 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 teacher that teaches understanding that makes any man to understand the knowledge of God so he he asked them to tarry on the, the upper room 
on the day of Pentecost. So, in the upper room, the apostles tarry there in order to, you know, welcome the teacher that teaches man to understand the knowledge of God. So, in that class, which is the upper room, whenever a teacher is coming to teach, first thing that that teacher looks at is language barrier. So, when he came, the first thing, when they were praying, the first thing that the, you know, the Holy Spirit gave them as gifts is what? The language of him. So the Holy Spirit has a language. It's like a, you know, a, a class of uh, English students that uh, you know a teacher, a teacher who only speaks away is coming to teach students restricted, restricted to only English. That teacher must make sure that this should these students can speak the language of him in order to communicate. So that is what happened actually in on the Pentecost, the day of Pentecost. So as he came, the first thing that shows that the Holy Spirit as the teacher came is the language. Bible say as they began to pray, as they began to pray, now the Holy Spirit came as of a mighty rushing. Let's read that Bible verse. Acts chapter 2, the verse 1 to 8. Bible says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them glowing tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. The verse 4 says, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues and began to speak with the language of the spirit which is the holy spirit as the holy spirit gave them as the spirit gave them all trance bible says that the verse 5 it says and there were dwelling at jerusalem jews devout men out of every nation under heaven now when this was noise abroad when this uh, language was noise abroad because they couldn't understand Bible say and when this language was noise abroad the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language in other words in his own understanding in his own understanding the verse 7 says, And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are all not and not all this we speak Galileans. And the verse 8 says, How hear we every man in our own tongue, in our own tongue, wherewith we were born. So what this scripture the verse 7 and 8 meant is you know apostles the apostles of jesus christ the disciples of jesus christ made have preached to you know this uh, class of people but they couldn't understand why because they themselves are not convinced they themselves couldn't understand the teachings of jesus christ the knowledge of jesus christ so because of that matter they couldn't even you know make meaning to other people that they may have tried to witness to so they were also having such knowledges that jesus christ imparted the disciples the apostles before so the verse 7 says so in other words they say and they were all amazed and marvel saying one to another behold are not all these we speak galileans are all not this are not all these we speak things that we couldn't understand how 
He said, and how hear we every man now in our own language, in our own language, wherewith we were we were born. That that means now they now understood. First they were talking of language. Now they they were they, they were talking in, in their own tongue. That there is a spirit that lives in a man. You know, the spirit that lives in us has a language, has an understanding, and it takes the spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit, to activate that spirit in us. That enable that spirit in us to what understand the things of God, which is the knowledge of God. So, after that, we must understand that this is what the devil is using today to steal many from the gift of God, of the Holy Spirit. This is what the devil is using today to steal many from the gift of the Holy Spirit, known as the tongue. Hear this, I am not against the fact that the apostles were Galileans, but it doesn't also mean that because they are, they can't speak another native languages which they will have, which they have to pray before speaking those languages. I said earlier on that native languages are not prayed for. But we learn to pray them, uh, to speak them. Tongues are not meant to learn. We pray in order to speak them. So we must know that everyone has their ways of understanding. So that scripture is talking about their ways of understanding of the reason of the gospel of Christ, not their native languages not their native languages first corinthians chapter 14 verse 14 it says for if i pray in a known tongue my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful which is talking about a human understanding here for instance jesus should be fair not that uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 6 26 to 27 it says likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not how we should pray as we ought to as we ought to but the spirit itself make intercession for us with groanings which cannot be altered and he does search the heart knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to his the will of god so when the holy spirit came upon the apostles and you know they began to speak in the language of the spirit the language went abroad so those who are having the knowledge of what Jesus Christ came to teach now because the Holy Spirit moves around all the environment now the the Holy Spirit began to interpret all the things that Jesus Christ was teaching them all the things that the disciples the apostles were teaching that people now they now understood the knowledge of God as I said earlier on in that Jeremiah Bible says that when this thing uh, came to pass that knowledge and understanding came to pass after Jesus Christ taught them the knowledge and the Holy Spirit came and explained the knowledge which is the spirit of understanding he gave it to the apostles Bible says in the verse 16 in that Jeremiah chapter 3 the verse 16 it says and it came to pass when ye be multiply and increase so because of the understanding and the knowledge of God upon the people that made them to, to draw close to Jerusalem to draw close to what Zion so it is not because 
the people were speaking their native language their native languages that is what makes you know them to, uh, to 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 be drafted into zion but it's because now the knowledge that jesus christ taught them the knowledge that the apostles taught them now they now understood because the holy spirit came to make the knowledge that jesus christ taught to be understood so in conclusion bible says in first corinthians chapter 14 the verse 2 it says for he that speaketh in unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto god for no man understandeth him how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries so that was the language that came upon the apostles on the day of pentecost that they began to pray in tongues in the unknown language and the holy spirit gave them utterances of the knowledge of jesus christ my prayer is that the adventure you have this holy spirit but because of the things that you are hearing from people saying that uh, uh, why should you be praying a prayer that you do not understand so because of that you put aside the language of the spirit that can that will make you to draw you know spiritual understandings that will enable you to understand the word of god to understand the plan and purpose that god has for you i pray that this time around as you have gotten this truth you will draw back to God you will go and pick back that language which is the language of the spirit and begins to speak and as you do that I pray that the deep things of God the mysteries of God will be revealed to you in Jesus mighty name but my brother my sister if you are not born again if you are not born again you are not qualified to receive this language that makes you per adventure you have done a lot of things that you think god has forgotten you i just want you to know that god still loves you it is never too late you can become who you want to become but you need to hear from god you need to understand to be in the spirit to understand the plan and purpose that god has for you so beloved people if you want to come back to christ why not i would like to speak i would like to pray with you say this after me say lord jesus christ now i have known the truth i know i'm a sinner forgive me my sins make me one of your own today i denounce sin and i've accepted you as my lord and personal savior come and be with me teach me the thing i supposed to know in order to fulfill destiny in the mighty name of jesus christ so help me god amen if you have prayed this prayer god has already answered the next step you must take is to look for a bible-based church a spirit-filled church in order to attain do not allow friends to deprive you from what the holy spirit has for you do not allow friends to be mocking you because you are going to church god has the best for you god has the best in store for you in zion i pray for you that from henceforth you shall take different heights in the mighty name of jesus christ amen beloved people if you are new on this channel probably word ministries i would like you to like subscribe to our channel share to your loved ones so that anytime we upload our messages you will be the first person to be notified beloved people god richly bless you as you do this shalom